Ever since the day I was born Something stirring in my soul Feel it burning in my bones When I hear that whistle blow Got my ticket in my hand Packed up everything I own Chugging full steam ahead Like a locomotive I'm gone And it's a long ride Driving down these tracks alone But I'll be alright Got my guitar on my back Rocking like a rolling stone Rocking like a rolling stone Rocking like a rolling stone That's just the train I'm on I was born and raised in Hickory, North Carolina to a blended family of 12 children. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> to a papa who was a rolling stone who found his home in the bottom of a bottle and was never really home. I was raised by a single mother to this day, can't read or write, but found ways to put food on the table, clothes on my back, and make sure I stayed out of trouble as best she could, especially for a hyper young man who thought he was a superhero and constantly did backflips off the furniture and would break things. But nonetheless, I had these dreams of grandeur, of seeing places I've never seen, going places I've never been before, but all around me, I saw death and destruction and disorder. At a very young age, I lost one of my older brothers to the streets uh, in a gym where we used to play basketball every day. And I would later lose another brother, and then followed by two younger brothers who were incarcerated for 10 plus years apiece. See, all around me I saw death, destruction, and all I could think was that was where I was headed with my life. That's the options that I had. Until I made one of the first discoveries in my life was my faith and my belief in God, the, the giver of all good things, the grand designer, the giver of purpose. And I remember hearing words like, for I know the plans I have for you, thus saith the Lord, plans to prosper you, give you hope and a future and not to harm you. To trust in him with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he'll direct your path. And somehow amidst all of the sexual, mental, and physical abuse, those words planted seed in my heart and in my mind. It began to sprout. And I started to believe that maybe there are other options for me outside of death and destruction. So I was the first person in my immediate family to graduate from high school. And I remember after that summer, I had this gift of music that I love so much, and I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be rich and famous. <laughs> yeah, that was the plan. So I packed up everything I owned. I worked that summer, saved up a whopping $400, and made my way across the country to a place called Hollywood, California. Now, keep in mind, I had never been outside of Hickory, North Carolina before, and I found out really quick that $400 is not enough money to make it in L.A. <laughs> Just in case any of you guys are thinking about that. Uh, so right after that happened, I remember stepping off the bus ready to take on the world, but within a week, all the money that I had was gone. I had nowhere to go. I had nobody to turn to. And for the next two years, I would find myself homeless on the streets there, sleeping in abandoned buildings, squats on the pier, the missions, uh, Covenant House, any place I could find a hot meal, and that would be my, year, uh, my life for the next two years. And I remember thinking all these words that I had learned when I was younger, the discovery I had made in God, uh, prosper and have a great future, started not to seem as real anymore. And then during this process, that hope of, of good things to come is what kept me alive. And it, it, it brought me to my second discovery, which was my discovery of what my purpose was the why of what we're all here for and discovering my purpose. See, at first I thought it was this gift that I had. But one thing I learned about a gift, a gift is just for you unless you take it and share it with somebody else. Then it turns into a purpose. And after this discovery happened for me, I had a newfound idea and a newfound purpose in life, and it was to be somebody's hero. Yes, you can 
say I am afraid of the man I haven't been I guess you may feel that I haven't been real Just hiding from everything But the way of the world is waiting on me To stop wearing my heart under my sleeve Cause I was meant to fly, meant to shine Gotta find the better man in me before I die Even if I bleed, just gotta be somebody's hero So I remember thinking to myself, I wanted to take this gift, I wanted to take this passion and do something important in the world, not just to uh, appease myself, but that would change other people's lives. See, along the way, there had been many people who had stepped in and kept me from ending up in the path that I was seeing death and destruction all around me. And I wanted to be that for somebody else, somebody's hero. So I packed up my things after a couple years, saved up some money and made my way back east to a little place called Nashville, Tennessee. And I remember pulling into town and hearing music like this on the radio. Love is a burning thing It makes a fire ring Bound by a wild desire I fell into a ring of fire I fell into a burning ring of fire Went down, down, down And the flames went higher It burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire And at first, Nashville, Tennessee was just that another burning ring of fire because I found myself homeless once again on the streets <laughs> of Nashville, Tennessee. But one particular night while I was sitting on the side of 2nd Avenue and Broadway, you see a lot of people busking and doing those kind of things. I had my guitar case open. I was playing, singing on the side of the street. And this guy walks by with a big old black cowboy hat and a handlebar mustache. I know that describes about a third of the people in Nashville. <laughs> but follow me. And he stops and he pulls out his wallet and he throws $100 into my guitar case. Needless to say, thought to myself, if I could just get three more, I could make my way back to L.A., try this whole thing. But I did sit down with this gentleman, and we started jamming back and forth, and he said, you know what, you have a real gift, you have a real talent. And I didn't know who it was at the time, but I later found out it was a guy by the name of John Rich from a country duo called Big and Rich. And he invited me to come play. He invited me to come play and join this crew of uh, musicians called the Music Mafia, which is why I rock this big blinding, blinging ring up here on the stage. <laughs> Uh, but it commemorates the moment in this, this movement that was happening in Nashville, Tennessee at the time where artists would get together and just create music that they love, music without prejudice. It didn't matter to the genre, it didn't matter what you looked like, it was about creating music and the passion of music. And needless to say, uh, a lot of these guys went on and had uh, amazing careers. And that's what happened to me. My career took off from that moment. I secured my first publishing deal in 2004, and I've been doing nothing but music ever since. I've had the opportunity to travel the world and share the stage with everybody from Keith Urban to John Legend. And the list goes on and on. I've, I've had record deals and publishing deals and uh, just amazing opportunities like this one here today to speak and tell this story. But I say all this to not brag or boast, but to say that you can have an outlook on life and it can look one way, but at any moment, any second, any event, it can turn around. And how that happens is by shining, is by being who you are designed to be. See, each one of us are are individuals and we're all designed uniquely different. And if we tap into who we are uniquely as a person, we shine. And the cool thing about shining is when you do that, you liberate other people to do the same thing. And that's what we've been seeing here already here today, people stepping on this stage, telling their stories, and it's liberating this room and giving people ideas and opening up their minds and their thoughts. And so that's what I, I'm here to challenge you to do today. For myself, it was finding my faith in God. It was finding my purpose and then living that purpose out. And, and those three things were instrumental in me shining. But I encourage each one of you to tap into who you are as an individual, find what your passion is, what your why is every day, and shine.
brain It's just one of those things Some days you got it But hey, oh, 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 hey It's only here because Somebody taught it See, how can we learn The lesson of love If we choose to hide In the dark Shine So everybody can shine too Yeah Open your heart and lead the way You don't have to be afraid It's in you It's in you To rise High above your greatest fears Yeah And with a little bit of light You can make it brighter here Oh, oh, oh So everybody shine, shine on, shine on 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 Everybody shine